Hi, and welcome to ORT1 HVF, Human Vision and Function. This is part two, understanding vision, color vision, and 3D perception. My name is Mary Vukisevich, and I'll be taking you through this topic, topic three, depth perception. The sensation of depth occurs when two eyes look at two slightly different objects, each object falling on either the either retina, so the retina on the left eye or the retina on the right eye, and then they're blended into one. The perception of depth, or 3D, is what we term stereopsis, and it's actually a binocular phenomenon, meaning that both eyes must be working perfectly together in order to perceive depth. The image shown here on the right is a schematic diagram of the horopter, which shows all object points that are imagined on corresponding points on the retina at a given fixation distance. Stereopsis is related to binocular vision, as I said, and it requires you to fuse two objects, one from each eye, together. It's quite an involved subject, and for the purposes of this class, we are just going to cover an introductory overview. If you are an orthoptic student, you'll learn much, much more about binocular single vision, fusion, and stereopsis later. An easy introduction to the very complex topic of stereopsis in un is understanding how 3D movies work. So to start you off, there's a short video about 3D movies following this one. Then you'll move to the next video about depth perception, which gives you a more detailed explanation. And in this movie, Depth Perception, you'll hear something about the visual cliff experiments that determine whether we are born with stereopsis or 3D vision or whether we develop it. So the next video following that in the series shows you the actual visual cliff experiments. And finally, we'll end the playlist with a video showing you how to use the Randot stereo test and how you would test a patient's stereopsis. Once you've completed this playlist, you'll then follow on to task two, where you'll watch one final very, very short video, which includes an activity demonstrating the principle of binocular vision and stereopsis. And this hopefully will complete your understanding. Of course, after that, there is also a supplementary reading for you to do and revision questions. There are a few different types of tests that we can use to measure a person's stereopsis or ability to perceive depth. One type is called the random dot stereogram and shown here is a variation of that test called the randot stereo test. The randot is a binocularly devised test of random dot patterns as you can see there particularly the um, page on the right hand side. The patient needs to be able to see a shape standing out from the background um, and sort of standing out in front of all the other shapes. So in this test there are three variations and testing levels. The first is a set of 10 circles, then we have cartoon animals down the bottom and these are very good for getting the attention of young children. And finally, the large squares on the right have hand side have basic images in them, a circle, a square, a cross, a triangle, etc. Um, of course, you can't see these at the moment in this um, presentation um, because you actually need to have the test in front of you and you need to wear the special glasses that come with the test. We record a stereopsis in seconds of arc and now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use this test to measure a person's stereopsis.